back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support i appreciate much 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 god bless you but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave make sure you subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new <laughs> so friends today's video is going to be very interesting very hot 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 <laughs> as usual guys my videos are always hot but today's video is hotter because i'm going to be sharing with you the types of white men in africa you should never date avoid them or be careful about them because this type is very dangerous to you and if you start a relationship with him and your relationship will not go further my dear sister before i start our today's video this video is special for those ladies who have got their dignity they know their value they don't give the goodies to any man anyhow and they want to give them goodies to the right man a man who will be their husband but if you are a lady who doesn't care you just give them goodies to any man it's not of a big deal because <laughs> i know there are some ladies who always say that yes i give them goodies it is still there <laughs> even if i give it out does it go away no it will still be there so i'll just give it out <laughs> so this video is not for you my sister this is for ladies who respect themselves who value themselves who want healthy relationship so without wasting much of your time let us start our video right now type number one of white men you should be careful about or you should avoid in africa is the type of white men who stay online especially i've had a lot of cases from tinder most white men when they want to come to africa and they need company what they do they go online dating sites register themselves and start chatting with different women from africa tell them that they are interested in them they would like to know them more but in real sense guys these guys are coming to africa just for tour for tourism and some of them sad to say they come as tourists <laughs> to see africa but at the same time they're just coming as a tourist you find a guy is on tinder chatting with three different women from three different african countries where he wants to visit he chats with these ladies tell them that he would like to meet them so they should be with him in his hotel where he will be so this guy is going to sleep with those three different women from three different african countries without them knowing what is going on what they will know is that this guy is interested in me he is my boyfriend <laughs> i've found a white man <laughs> he's coming to see me but in recent guys this guy is coming to africa to tour and at the same time do sex <laughs> with african ladies so you should be very careful about these white men on tinder or on any other dating app whom you chat with and immediately they tell you they want to come to africa they have the ticket already and to add more they want to stay with you in their hotel when you hear that if you really really want a white man and you don't want to lose this man you've met on tinder chat with him yes meet him yes but don't give him the goodies meet him like i said in public where there is light talk to him get to know him give him all the time that he wants if he wants to be with you from morning to evening then be it give him that time because you really need this man so give him that time but giving him your goodies don't don't do that put that boundary to make sure that this guy shows you how serious he is if this guy is really serious with you he is going to invite you in his country and maybe you might give the goodies there after you have seen his life but meeting a guy on tinder or on any other dating app 
and immediately he wants to come to Africa <laughs> spend time with you this guy wants just company I've had a lot guys a lot of cases and it is becoming too much and these white men do this because they don't want to spend much they know if they take an innocent african lady tell her that i'm interested in you i want to know you more i'm interested in you can you be with me at the hotel this african lady because she is desperate she is going to accept and he will sleep with this girl freely without paying anything and if he is generous he might give you a hundred dollars and that's it but most of them just want the goodies at a low cost they don't want to spend but at the same time they want them goodies that is why they go on online dating apps to look for african ladies to use them for free <laughs> so if you are an african lady you are online and you're chatting with a guy this guy wants to come to africa please be very careful last year there is a place i was on instagram and they were giving advice to ladies about interracial dating then i also gave my advice and from there there is this lady who followed me and started asking me for advice like the advice that i gave so this lady was chatting with a guy from sweden sweden on tinder and this guy was coming in africa after a week they've started chatting so when she told me i told her girl be careful this guy might be wanting someone to spend some time with so i started asking her some questions like what do you chat about when you chat do you chat about your relationship or you only talk about the trip the girl told me we talk about the trip because if this white man is really interested in you he is not going to be talking only about the trip he will also be talking about your relationship so this guy never said i love you never said i liked you but he said he wants to see this girl so that he can know her more <laughs> in the hotel so this girl later told me that the guy really wanted only the goodies and when she refused this white man told the girl that you go there is no problem i'll go back on tinder and i'll get another tanzanian lady so you see guys you see they play us we shouldn't accept this at all give the goodies to the man who will be your husband a man who truly loves you not just passing time not just wasting your time so if type number two of white men in africa you should be careful about or you should avoid completely dating them are those types who have been in africa for so long <laughs> They know Africa in and out, the behaviors of black men, how they behave on us. You ladies in Africa, you know how these African men, some of them behave with African ladies. So they've been there, they know everything. And to make matters worse, these white men have copied everything. So you find a white man <laughs> is behaving like a black man but not those good black men no behaving like those players treating women very bad <laughs> they copy everything everything guys you find a white man is speaking even the native language <laughs> so when this type of a white man approaches you you really need to be very careful <laughs> because i know some black women are running away from black men because maybe they have been mistreated or maybe they have been played so much by black men so they are like i want to change let me try out dating a white man so when you come across this white man that has been in africa for so long you really need to be very careful because you might be running you might be running from black men because they are playing you and you find out that this white man is exactly as those black men that are players 
so be very careful because i know in africa exist white men who play african women very much a very big challenge that we have especially i will talk i'll talk about my country tanzania men are liars they lie a lot <laughs> i talked about this tanzanian men lie so much so you find that a white man has been in tanzania so much and decide to copy this lying behavior <laughs> you find a white man lying so much having a lot of girlfriends and they don't even know each other <laughs> <laughs> so when you date this be very careful observe those red flags if he is good then date him but if you notice something that is not right that this white man might be exactly as some of those african men who lie a lot who play women so much just leave him immediately because in most cases people who copy something they do it even more so he might be even worse than a black man <laughs> type number three of white men in africa you should not date or you should avoid or you should be careful about are those types who are in africa they came maybe as tourists but they have been there for so long and they deal with drugs illegal businesses if you come across that white man no matter how desperate you are no matter how you want to get married to a white man don't date him please that man is very toxic to you because most of them they are so lazy they depend on their parents money that is why they stay in africa for so long without working they start drugs they start doing illegal businesses that those businesses are not allowed even in their countries so that kind of a person he is very lazy and we all know the danger of dating a lazy man they are always very aggressive they treat women very bad in fact guys you should stay away from that type of a white man i don't advise you at all another thing you should know if someone is dealing with drugs if someone is dealing with illegal businesses that are very risky it means that this white man has got nothing to lose so doing anything bad to you is not a big deal it's something very small so that type of a white man you should really really avoid it please please my dear sister i'm saying a lazy man is very dangerous guys because there is something that happened here in italy on 10th of september it was on friday an italian man killed a nigerian lady they were husband and wife but this man wasn't working he did not have any job it is the lady who was working to take care of this man and in the news they said this man was mistreating this lady so much that this lady told the man that i am going to leave you in the end what happened this man took her life but also the background of this man it says that he used also to mistreat the exes one time he even tried to take the life of the ex in fact when he killed this nigerian lady the policeman went to her house to warn her that she should be careful because after the other nigerian lady he ran the policeman went to his ex to tell her be careful because he has killed a lady and run away he has a gun be careful so that is why guys i am telling you to be very careful of these white men you meet in africa and you see for yourself this man is into drugs he is into illegal businesses don't go ahead and marry this man because you might get married there or you might get pregnant there and decide to come with him here it is going to be hell for you i am warning you be careful guys because sometimes we do things without seeing the danger 
but at least i am here to warn you we see things this nigerian girl that was killed i felt very very sad guys like she is my sister it hurts so much to see an innocent lady who was supposed to be living her life being taken just like that by a man that is why i take time to tell you guys to be very careful avoid this type of a man a man who deals with illegal things he is someone to stay away from type number four of a white man in africa you should avoid or you should be careful about are those white men who are in africa on a work contract and they tell you they are single they want to be with you tell you maybe they want to marry you dear sister before you marry this white man get to know his background do all you can to make sure you know this man's background before you marry him and also be very careful about his moves because married men you will know him dear sister you will know him if he is married even if he is in africa and the wife is in europe you will know because sometimes he will make some strange calls <laughs> or a man is not opening up enough to you in your relationship or you find a man is traveling maybe to europe and whenever he travels he does not want to communicate with you he makes calls that makes you feel like he is hiding somewhere while talking to you so when you see this do not marry this white man do not continue dating him because he will stay with you the whole that period of his contract and when the contract is done he might even leave you with a kid because some ladies go ahead and get pregnant so he will leave you with a kid and never return i don't want you to be in that situation and dear sister don't lie to yourself that he is a white man even if i have a kid with him he is going to take care of me it's a lie guys not all white men take care of their kids some of them abandon them never want to see them again i've had a lot of cases and someone very close to me a white man has abandoned a kid with her that is why i am warning you be careful be careful with these white men who are in africa on a work contract before you date him before you go ahead and marry him before you go ahead and have a kid with him get to know him very well if it is possible when he travels during his holidays he should take you with him to europe so that you can see the other side of him the other life of him then from there you can marry him but without that guys do not go ahead and marry this guy do not go ahead and date this man i don't want you later on to regret and say that i did not know i am here as a sister telling you the truth so, so friends this is like a bonus tip to you because i love you so much <laughs> that is why i'm giving you a bonus tip there are some ladies who are in africa and they want to get married to white men so what they do they think where can i find white men here in africa the first thing Thing they think is that maybe I go to those tourist hotels or maybe I go to the clubs or maybe I go to the beach any place that they think they can encounter a white man what I am advising you dear sis do not do that do not go in a hunt for a white man because you might go on a hunt and then you find a wrong white man you fall into the hands of the wrong man i'm saying you might fall into the hands of the wrong man because you going let's take an example to a tourist hotel and then position yourself <laughs> so that these white men who come in there can see you they might take you as a prostitute and if a white man thinks that you are a prostitute then he is going to treat you as one <laughs> 
so it's not a good thing to do if you decide to go to those tourist hotel then not in a hunt for a white man you just go there maybe to have fun if any white man sees you and then talks to you then we call it luck but don't go in a hunt or maybe you go to the club and then you start dancing use your own energy so that you can be noticed <laughs> <laughs> yes you might find a white man but this white man saw you trying so hard he knows that you are desperate and he is not going to take you seriously so don't go in a hunt for a white man at the beach at the club <laughs> i remember there is a girl who had a white man they met at the club and afterwards their relationship could not last because this guy wasn't a good guy and what he told this girl when they were fighting and then this guy was like you are just a bitch i found you at the club at night what were you doing there if you are not a prostitute save yourself embarrassments my dear sister and i believe if god wrote down that you are going to get married to a white man and this white man will find you in africa then this white man will surely find you don't go ahead and do those desperate things so that you can find a white man don't do that because you might fall into the hands of the wrong man or you might be taken advantage of do not go in a hunt for a white man i advise you this there is nothing good out of it you will get if these white men see that you are desperately looking for them, then they are going to take advantage of you. So friends, we have reached to the end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy it and learn something. Watch my other videos too. Comment below what you think about this video. If you haven't subscribed, please, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. We are almost 2K. I'm so excited. So subscribe, please, so that our family can grow. I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.